Hi, Canasota. I'm Sean Bassetta, Superintendent of Canasota Central Schools, and this is the weekly video update for Wednesday, October 5th. Now that we have the month of September under our belt, uh, the school is off to a, a good start. We wanted to uh, start back up with our weekly video updates. Uh, this year, there's a little bit of a twist uh, based on some of the feedback that we've been receiving from our school community members. We wanted to make this uh, communication update uh, as useful as possible and as efficiently accessed as possible by our, our um, parents and community members. Uh, so for each of the topics that are going to be covered in our, in our weekly update, we will have that uh, bookmarked for you in advance. So if you want to hear about information um, for just a, a portion of the update that is available to you. You'll be able to go directly to the spot um, in the recording that um, has the information that you're looking for. So again, uh, based on feedback we got, hoping that you'll find this to be a useful tool um, so that you can quickly and efficiently get the information that you're looking for. So um, one of the hot topics of the last year and a half has really been uh, our capital projects. I wanted to start this week's update talking a little bit about that. Um, after um, about a year and a half of work uh, around our campus, we really are in the home stretch of the capital project. We really appreciate people's patience as we navigated through the beginning, especially the first week of school. Um, there obviously is still some work that's happening. Uh, there are still some spots that uh, it, um, and that have caused some inconvenience um, for our staff members, for our students, and for our family. So we appreciate the patience. We know that when we get to the uh, to the end of this project, we're going uh, everybody is going to really, I think, be pleased with the numerous updates in our facilities. Some of the work that's happening now that um, that you'll be noticing um, still uh, some paving work um, around the district. There will still be some uh, updates coming out just alerting people to, to some, um, some of the final pieces of the puzzle uh, related to paving. Um, at times, there will be portions of the Robert Street Complex entrance areas that will be inaccessible uh, due to the final uh, stages of some of that paving work. Uh, again, be on the lookout for that information coming out. Um, a lot of the work inside the buildings is centered around uh, finishing up some of the work with our bathroom renovations going to be great once we finally have uh, all of those uh, bathrooms updated. Um, so uh, again, moving towards the finishing uh, final stages of that process as well. Um, the Robert Street entrance, uh, again, that is a, a piece that's going to be really nice. We're going to have a, a, a really um, great entrance way, obvious entrance to that uh, Robert Street facility. Um, and we're looking forward to that work being uh, wrapped up here in the near future. So we'll continue to pro provide updates. We'll get information out to you when any of the construction may cause some kind of change in our operation. But again, uh, happy to see our project coming to completion. And we're really pleased um, that um, our families are going to be able to enjoy our new and, and updated facility. Um, speaking of things that are new to the district, uh, the district has been busy um, undertaking an extensive search for our new Robert Street principal and junior senior high school principal. And so I am very pleased uh, to announce that at uh, last night's special board of education meeting, uh, we had two principals appointed to those, those important positions. So first I'd like to announce that uh, Mr. Derek Sajnog has been appointed our new Robert Street principal. Um, fortunate to have Mr. Sajnak with uh, his over 20 years of uh, admi administrative experience, over 20 years of, of, of principal, uh, building principal experience. And so we're thrilled to have him join the Canastota uh, school community. Mr. Sajnak will be starting officially in the district on October 17th. So more information to come. Um, we'll continue to update you and, and have some opportunities for our, our uh, families to be able to meet Mr. Sajnak. Also extremely uh, pleased to announce that Mr. Peter Schultz has been appointed our new 
junior, senior, high principal. So again, Mr. Peter Schultz, we are 712 uh, principal. He will be starting uh, thir this uh, Thursday. So actually tomorrow, officially, um, um, October 7th. So extremely pleased uh, with that uh, development. Mr. Schultz has extensive experience um, as, a, as a building principal. And again, uh, very pleased to have him joining the Canastota School community. So uh, really excited about two highly experienced, highly successful principals uh, joining the Canastota family. Um, look forward to uh, providing you opportunities to be able to meet them as soon as possible. And the good news is um, they're going to be with us uh, short, uh, very soon. So um, great news on that front. Uh, finally, I just want to leave you with some updates on homecoming. Uh, this is homecoming week, and uh, we have a lot of events, particularly scheduled for um, Thursday and Friday. Uh, of course, everything culminating with the homecoming dance on, on Saturday night. But we have a number of um, games on Thursday and, and Friday. We have a JV um, girls soccer game at 4 o'clock, um, boys varsity soccer game at 4 o'clock on Thursday. 6 p.m. is the uh, homecoming parade uh, on Thursday, followed by a 6.30 bonfire uh, by the softball field. So again, 6 p.m. parade, uh, 6.30 bonfire uh, near the softball field. Look for more details about the, um, details about the um, starting and ending locations for the parade. There's been some updates um, this year on that. Uh, fr finally, uh, on Friday, uh, varsity football game against the Salve Bearcats starts at, at 7 o'clock. So hope everybody is uh, love to see people join us uh, for, for the game. Looks like uh, the weather, at least at this point, is, uh, is looking pretty um, good. Um, certainly for Thursday, it still is for the parade and bonfire. So um, looking forward to a, a great homecoming. So uh, looking forward to continuing to update you through with our revised video update. Um, please again, refer to the bookmark um, capability so that you can go directly to the portion of the updates um, that you find most useful. So we look forward to updating you with uh, a number of uh, important updates related to capital project and with new initiatives in the district. So till next time, Hope everybody has a, a great rest of the week and go Raiders.